Hi, everybody. I thought I'd make an update and uh, give you a kind of general tour of what it is I've got cooking in the house. Um, in my last video, I talked about moving stuff out from the greenhouse. And what I've basically built on the inside is a, uh, is a small sprouting chamber for the more kind of needed plants, like these are tomatoes, that's cucumber, uh, a, a Melrose pepper that I need the seeds for to propagate the next series, another cucumber, some lily bulbs uh, that are starting to produce the greenery because they detect the temperature is right. Some mixed greens that will be uh, I'll be dividing up later. Another tomato plant that's a beefsteak tomato. Some more irises. A rosemary tree I just cut back. My gigantic aloe vera plant which is in really really good shape. And uh, for anybody that's ever grown tropicals, a uh, dragon tree. And uh, all of this, of course, is growing entirely hydroponic. And uh, you can see that they actually, tropicals actually do like hydroponics pretty well. But the way to get all of that, and what this is, is it's what I'm calling the blue room. And it's basically a uh, area between two shelves covered in uh, silver lame fabric because silver lame actually has just about the right reflective properties and it's really the end of the remnant roll. But uh, what you can see down here is after the seedlings come up, I actually move them over to rock media directly and then uh, put them in a little bit of solution to get them regulated, get the roots growing, and then transition them out to the greenhouse or over to this growing chamber that I described first. So what I've got growing in here at this particular moment are a couple of pepper plants, a couple of uh, spinach plants, a couple of uh, cucumbers, just to get them all started so they have a decent start by the time that uh, April comes around. Um, some of the other things I've got cooking in here are a couple more squash, a uh, bunch of chives, which are coming up really, really nicely, if you can see that. Uh, I'm cloning some rosemary plants, and uh, for those of you that may recognize these containers from the dollar store, uh, once you rinse the beads off and let them dry out, you'll notice they become almost like those little nonpareils that you put on a cake. And uh, if you mix up a batch of hydroponic solution and uh, soak them overnight in hydroponic solution, when the, uh, the beads, which are kind of, I think, mostly like gelatin or something, they will uh, soak up all the hydroponic solution and act as a really good cloning chamber. So uh, something to think about. For a buck, it's not bad, but you've got to rinse the beads really well. These are Spanish onions, which are starting to come up. And uh, although they don't come through very clearly on the uh, camera, they are uh, starting to turn green, which is good. And that means that they're getting enough light to get chlorophyll. So growing under blue lights actually is uh, a little experiment of mine. And it's turning out to be a pretty good one. This other container over here are leeks. And uh, they're kind of very, very thin at the moment. But uh, they're all green, and they're all standing up straight for the light. And uh, you know the bends that normally come with uh, spindly seedlings actually uh, are straightening themselves out. So that's a good sign. And then I have two tins of marigolds, which I'm going to direct sow into uh, soil when the spring comes. But these are already uh, a good start, and uh, they'll do just fine once I transition them over to soil. So this is not soil. Um, all of this stuff that I have them growing in right now are peat. And uh, all I did was just basically swell up Jiffy Pots and uh, the Jiffy little tablet containers and um, start the seedlings in them. And then when the uh, seedlings are big enough to, to sustain on their own, I transition them over to the rock, and then the rock will transition out to the greenhouse into the growing tubes. So that is how I'm, uh, I'm moving plants through. I currently have about 140 different seedlings started. This is just the, the most mature of the cross section of them. But I have two 72, I think it's 72, uh, place Jiffy greenhouses that uh, came for my birthday last year. And then I've absconded with a couple of uh, 9x12 cake pans with lids from the dollar store. So. Um, basically, if anybody is interested in knowing more about the uh, LED grow lights, I've found that they work really, really well for doing, uh, for doing seeds and uh, getting them to, after they germinate, to get them to start to produce uh,
green leaves and colorful leaves and actually um, harden them up a little bit better than actually taking directly outside. So uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. Any questions or comments, leave them in the thing and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks much. Bye-bye.